today we're looking at how to create a sales funnel chart and report in Google Sheets. We have here a Salesforce opportunity report that we have imported into Google Sheets using the Coefficient app. If you do not have the Coefficient add-on, you can find it by going to Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then search for Coefficient in the Add-on Store. Once you have your data in Google Sheets, we can go ahead and proceed to the next step. So I have here a quick template to pull our data into. So I have our lead stages over here on the left and those correspond to our stages over here. And then we have a couple columns and this is to populate the chart that we're gonna build in a minute. And so this may not make sense at the moment, but I'm gonna explain it as we go. And then you'll be able to recreate this in your own project. So we're gonna build this from right to left and you'll see why here in a moment when we insert our chart. So let's build our numbers. So we wanna get an actual count of these stages. So we're gonna use a count if formula. Let's go ahead and go here, grab our stage column, and then go back to here and let's just click on this to grab that number. And so there's our actual count if we drag that down. And so now in our stage, we want to get the actual number of prospects um, that have gone all the way through the flow. And so we're gonna use a simple sum formula and then we're just gonna grab this range. We're not going to lock this or anything. We're just gonna hit enter and drag it down. And we didn't lock it because we actually want this range to update. So it's only grabbing, as you can see now, that range, this was all grabbing that range. So it's decreasing as we go down. And so we're getting our funnel going. So in the chart, we want to center these numbers. So this column I haven't labeled, we're gonna use as an offset. So I'm gonna add a small offset this first one just to kind of give a little buffer and then we're going to build offset for each stage below so we're going to use a quick formula let's go ahead and add our standard offset and then we need to basically determine the difference between these two and divide that by two to center it and so let's go ahead and take this number uh, minus 374 let's go ahead and wrap that in parentheses and divide that by two and let's go ahead and just wrap this again. And there we go. Before we let this autofill and drag down to make sure these don't change as we drag them down. So we don't want our offset to change and then we don't want our stage to change because this is our biggest number that we're orienting off of. So this is the formula that we need. Drag this down for the rest. And now we have all we need to create our sales funnel chart. So we're gonna go ahead and select this table. We're not selecting the actual count, we're just selecting this part over here. Insert chart. And next we need to go to chart type and we need to change to a stacked bar. And so you can see now the funnel shape taking form. So let's go ahead and set this up, make this look good. And then we'll go from there. So we'll go to customize chart style. Let's go ahead and just set some background real quick here. Just make this look nice. And then next to get rid of these blue bars here, let's go to series and select that bar one. And then we're just going to make these the same color that we made the background just to make them disappear. So you can definitely see the funnel now. And let's just go ahead and finish this up. Let's add some quick formatting to this. Let's change the chart title here. There we go. And then we can go ahead and delete some of these that we don't really need anymore. And then we can set this up here. Maybe drag this over a little bit, make that bigger. And there we go, there's our sales funnel report. And so if you want to get this report every week automatically, we can actually use a coefficient feature to be able to email a snapshot of this to yourself every week. And so let's go ahead and just hide these two because these don't really make sense in that report. And then make sure we click include data here so the data is still showing up in the report. And then let's go ahead and open up the coefficient add-on and set up that screenshot. And then once the add-on pulls up, we'll just click on automations. We'll select daily and weekly screenshot. Make sure we have the correct tab. So you can select a different tab if you need to. Click next, set up the frequency. So let's just do this weekly Friday at 5 p.m. Next, you can set up email and or Slack channel you wanna send this to. Click next again. Let's go ahead and name this. 
sales funnel report click add alert and then we're done and so now we'll get a weekly screenshot report and you can edit modify or delete this here you pause it as well and there you go there is your sales funnel report from your salesforce import using the coefficient add-on thanks for watching and make sure to check out our other videos for great ways to use google sheets and the coefficient add-on